I guess I missed that one in USA Today. A dream. And what is any life if not the pursuit of a dream? The dream of peace, the dream of achievement, the dream of hearing someone say these words when they truly mean them. I love you, David. Take care. I love you. Roam free, David. Most of us live our whole lives without any real adventure to call our own. It's hard to comprehend. But they laughed at Jules Verne, too. This is a, is a revolution of, of the, the mind. mind. Thank you for the coffee. David, you have been taken. This is a dream. Is it? When did you die? When exactly were you cryonized? Listen to me for fuck's sake. This is all a very, very professional, very seductive fucking hoax. If you're just dreaming, look at me. If you're just dreaming right now, that means I don't exist. Are you listening to me or are you just waiting to speak? I'm sorry. I'm just imagining you. David, I am real. I am too real. <laughs> How do you know? First, I'm smarter than you. And second, was that a dream? I paid for you to say that. This is a living dream that I paid for. I'm fighting for your life here. I paid for this! I didn't kill anyone! There's no cause! I brought you here. I'm putting my fast fading prestige on the line, and it's I swear to you on my mother's grave, I swear to you, David. I want to find I am real. This is all happening right now. You are going to trial. This isn't a dream. And take off that mask. I don't want to see my face. Let me see your goddamn face right now. And if you're still disfigured, I'll believe you. Take Let me see your face! Take Get out of here! Get out of here! Impeccable timing! Tuck you support. leave right now! He's under my doors back! Tuck Get out now! Leave! Technical support! David. Technical tech David, support! I am your tech Tuck. support. We're out of time. Take off that mask. Now. Take it off. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now, take a look in this mirror and tell me if that isn't your face. You see? Hmm? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> you see? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Was I right? God, why do you insist on seeing what is not there? You are perfect. I'm a monster. David, you're handsome. If only I looked like you. Take support. Please. I, I love the colorful clothes you wear. And the way the sunlight plays upon her head I, I paid for this music What? On the way back I paid for this music! Can you hear it? There, there is no music, David I'm picking up good There's no music Oh, my God.
Back off! I got a gun! Back off! I think I'm gonna kill somebody! Take support! I've been dying to do this since we first met. <laughs> oh, you don't. Back off! God, what have you done? What have you done? This is a dream. Oh, Give me the gun. <laughs> is it a dream? There's no blood. You can move your arms. I, I was I was shot. I where the where's I was shot. I wasn't shot. I I I, I, I there's a welt on my back. I, I I I was tasered or something. I told you it's all no. a dream. No, no. You no. Did a great job. I loved it. <laughs> It was a great ride, <laughs> and I'm always the last one to get it. I took drama in high school, and I know a good performance when I see one, and you, you were great, every one of you. You were, bravo. <laughs> Love the crowd scene. Hello? Anybody? You who? David Ames. I think it's time we had a proper reintroduction. Please. I'm Edmund Ventura from the Oasis Project. Formerly Life Extension, LE. Tech support. I'm your tech support. Hey! Hey, where are you going? An account liaison. We met 150 years ago. Oh, shit. So when did the dream begin? Do you remember the day of the nightclub? That night, when you fell asleep on the pavement, was the moment chosen for the splice. The splice? The end of your real life and the beginning of Ellie's lucid dream. The one you purchased from us. A splice of 150 years, which you didn't notice because you happened to be frozen at a temperature of 196 degrees below zero. From the moment you woke up on that street, nothing was real in a traditional sense. Your life was monitored by life extension and a panel of experts who followed your every thought. Forgive me, I'm blowing your mind. I'm not a big fan of heights. I know. We erased what really happened from your memory. Erased? Replaced by a better life. Under these beautiful Monet-like skies. Your mother's favorite. A better life because you had Sophia. And that life was sculpted out of the iconography of your youth. 
an album cover that once moved you. There are some things that you're not old enough to understand just yet. A movie you saw once late at night that showed you what a father could be like. Or what love could be like. This was a kind woman, an individual, more than your equal. You barely knew her in your real life. In your lucid dreams, she was your savior. What did you write? What happened in my real life? Do you really want to know? You woke up on that street, despondent and alone. You shut yourself away for months. You battled to your board, the seven doors for control. I was Aspen. In the end, it was Thomas Tip, your father's friend, the man whose job you saved to wrench the company back into your control. You were alone with diminishing physical capabilities. You could barely function. You found us. And you were one of the very first to choose the lucid dream option. And on a day in late December, you gave yourself to us. Merry Christmas. Whoa. Your friend Brian Shelby threw a three-day memorial. He was a true friend. You were missed, David. It was Sophia who never fully recovered. It was she who somehow knew you best. And like you, she never forgot that one night where real, true love seemed possible. Squandered when you got in the car with Julie Gianni. Consequences, David. It's the little things, isn't it? They often loom largest of all. And that, my friend, is about as close to the secret of life as I'm allowed to do. I want Sophia back. Who wouldn't, baby? So I created everything? I created Julie Gianni to come back? The board to steal my life? I threw myself in prison? Look, I tried to warn you in the bar. I told you you must exercise control over yourself, that it all depended on your mind. I gave you technical support. I gave you everything. I even gave you a theme song by Paul McCartney, which is very hard material to acquire. So all I have to do is imagine something. Like if I wanted McCabe to come back right now. Get! Listen to me. These people are dangerous. We're in trouble. We need to get off this roof now. Your subconscious did create problems. Your dream turned into a nightmare, and this gentleman was able to uncover the fabric of our work. The glitch has been corrected, and we do apologize. <laughs> no, no, David, I tell you this with my heart and soul. This is a con man. And we're going downstairs, and we'll look for people. Come on. 
take no notice of him. He's not real. He has no real feelings. He's no more real than the image of John Coltrane in your living room. I'll kill you, you fuck. What do you know about mankind? What do you know about my feelings? Easy, Doctor. You're a man of peace. You son of a bitch. I'm an honored psychologist. I have two daughters, and I will uncover this hoax with one-fiftieth of my intellect. We are now on pause. You're about to return to your lucid dream. Pause. With all the upgrades, you won't remember any of this, and nor will you be charged for the technical support. You can continue your dream, or you can choose the world out there if you wish. And it's very different now. People live to be 200 years old. Your face and body can be fixed, of course. You're a very young man at the beginning of his life, but you will enter it with few of the resources you once had, and your money will run out soon. There are no guarantees. You can go into this world if you wish, but remember, even in the future, the sweet is never as sweet without the sour. Well, how are you doing, Brian? Living the dream, baby. Living the dream. Hi. How do I wake up? How do you wake up from any nightmare? The decision is yours. David, you listen to everything I say now. You were right. This is the Seven Dwarves. They want you to commit suicide, and if you jump, they win. Take no notice of me. He's not real. We've been set up. Please. Please don't jump. You're like family to me. Give yourself a little credit, David. Your attention to detail is... It's magnificent. This stunning man is your creation. He's a very complex and winning manifestation of the loss of your father. I'm not your father. I'm your doctor. You created him to say goodbye, and I must say, <sighs> he's fabulous. Thank you for this suit as well. It's... I would have never thought of it for myself. I'm real. I have two daughters. You know that. And what are their names? Hmm? I, I'm real. I'm... I'm... Mortality as home entertainment? This cannot be the future! Can it? Can it? I hate heights. And yet you chose this scenario to conquer your last remaining fear. It's been a brilliant journey of self-awakening. Now you've simply got to ask yourself this. What is happiness to you? Let them out there read my mind. Look at this. I'm frozen and you're dead. It's a problem. I love you. And I can't settle for a dream. 
Because as great as I imagined you, you were even better. I'll find you again. How will I know it's you? What's out there? In the way someone looks at you. In the way the wind blows on a cold summer day. A laugh you hear somewhere. You'll remember a feeling. And that will be me. I love you. Good morning. It's time for you to wake up. David. David. We can defend the kingdom. Together. David, you're gonna be fine.